Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to fix it when your Skyrim character can't, well, just won't walk around. No matter how, you know, on your keyboard or anything, maybe it's not walking or just nothing seems to be working. Or in fact, your keyboard just doesn't respond at all. And there's two um, situations, we, there's two causes of this. And so, mainly what you're going to need to do is go to what would be your program files and go to Steam. Steam apps, common, and go down to Skyrim. And so, first of all, you're going to go to your data and scroll down. And this first one is if you go here, tools, and you may not even see this, you may not even see a tools folder. And this is because this main one comes from using their FNIS, or I think it's Forge New Idol. Uh, mod and if you haven't got a mod then you just hang on I'll go to the what could be your other problem and this is just this mod one is if you just say you've got you made the forge new idol but you then installed some new mods after that and what ends up happening is um, the new mod go overwrite the forge new idol some, sometimes which is a problem so you just have to run the generate FNIS for users Wait for it to load, and it just uh just because if you've got this going and some new files overwrite it, and then there's always going to be conflicts because for some reason this one's very um, persistent on having all of its files exactly how it wants it wants it to have be. Okay, here it is, and so all you need to do. Okay, um, yeah, ignore this for me. Yours won't be there. You click, um, don't have anything available patches down there. Don't have any of them ticked. Just t unless you know about them. Tick, click on update FNIS behavior. It'll go through some various different things. And then do consistency check. And that should solve, um, should, could be one of the things solving your problems. Now, there may not even be any conflicts. And then this is where you come on to this next bit. So if we just exit. Okay, just, uh, just ignore that. Um, and then you go back to Skyrim. And you go to, if I can find it. Skyrimprefs.ini. Now this can also be in your My Games um, uh, folder, uh, for, you know, in an actual computer, and just open it with Notepad. And this, and here, what happens is if you go to uh, oh, wrong one actually. Sorry, you have to go to the. Sorry, you have to go to the um, game. To the um, you have to go to the my games folder. Sorry about that. Oh, sorry. It's in documents in my games. My fault. Sorry, I can ignore I've just done. And Skyrim. And here, Skyrim prefs.ini. Open with Notepad. And you go down and ign don't ignore it if you don't have as many things as I do. Just ignore that. And you go down to main. And it says B gamepad enable equals zero. Mine will say that. Yours could be saying equals one. What happens here? is chances are there's probably been some problem with mods if you don't use mods at all what will have happened is someone would have plugged in like an xbox 360 or xbox one ps4 or some form of control like that into it and it makes the gamepad enable equal one to, so that it has so that your 
keyboard has no control. You can't move for anything, and only the gamepad works. So then all you have to do is make it equal to zero, then save it, control S, save it, and then, so right, just here, and then you can leave. And that's pretty much it. There's nothing else you have to do. Those two are the two options, and just try them. I would consider if you have mods, if you have FNIS and this, do both, because it could in fact be that both are a problem. Um, even if you don't think you've plugged in a gamepad, just do both and just make sure it's set to equal zero. And that should be it. You'll, and then you try it out and your character should be able to move like it was in the past. Well, thank you very much for watching. Please like, rate, subscribe or share with your friends or click the subscribe button on the screen here. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.